What's up guys and welcome to the last episode in season 1 of House Flipper. Now in the episode before this one, it was laggy as fuck, so what I've had to do is turn the settings all the way down. So we are in ultra low, ultra low, that's why everything just looks really cartoony. But I've had to do that just to reduce the lag down, so hopefully it'll run okay. If you haven't seen episodes 1 to 4, there'll be cards at the top of this video, or you can go into my channel and into playlists and they'll all be there. And you can watch those to catch up before watching this one. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out when Season 2 comes out, which won't be for a while, but it will be coming. But first of all, I'm going to be doing Ancestors and Borderlands series. So we'll get those done first, and then we'll come back to House Flipper to do Season 2. And if you know this game, and you have a house in mind that you want to see me do, then let me know in the comments. If not, I'll probably just pick one at random. Probably the Breaking Bad house, but... I don't know yet, I haven't decided which one I'm going to be doing. But, in this episode, we are going to be doing the garage over here, because this is the last thing we've got to do, is in here. And then, once this is done, we'll be going around and doing a whole tour of the house to show everything that I've done, and then selling it to find out how much profit we make. So, this is a nice little garage space we've got available. There's not really much I can do with the garage, because obviously it's for parking cars in and just putting toot in. But what I was thinking was maybe over in this corner, if I can, trying to put in a sauna, if I can fit it in. Because I really wanted to put a sauna in the house, but there wasn't really any room for it. So this is one we're going to be trying to fit into. But we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to make you guys watch me putting it all in. So I will see you in a second when we'll take a tour around the whole house. Alright, so now we have done the garage. I believe that's everything in this house done. So, let's do the final tour. We'll check out the garage last, and then we'll see how much profit we can make. So, we've got our front garden. Got some nice pear trees, tomato plants, a few flowers around. We've got a pond. It does have water in it, but you can't see it because I've had to turn the graphics all the way down. So, obviously you can't see the water. But it's quite a nice little front garden. It looks pretty good. We've got the driveway going up to the garage. It looks pretty good. And then we've got our little pathway just going around here, just so you don't have to walk all the way through the house to get around to the garden. Which ain't bad. I was going to put a little gate across, but it just took too much effort trying to measure it all out. And that, like, if you look at certain bits in the fence there, you can see a big gap, because it just didn't line up right. So, couldn't be bothered with finishing all that off. But let's go through the front door. So, once you come inside, we've got the nice living area, which... It looks good. I mean, it's a little bit weird with the colours. I'm not really sure why I've all of a sudden changed my mind on the colours. But we're not going to change any of that. We've got our sofas. Our armchair. Little shelving unit behind. And then the TV and everything. And as I said in a previous episode, that is the DVD player, which is supposed to go in that little gap there. But it's very hard to do it on this game. So just imagine it's in there. Imagine that we actually have curtains up, not blinds, and the curtains are slightly offset of the colour of the wall, because for some reason I can't get the right colour curtains. And with the stairs over here, just remember that they are supposed to be painted the same colour as the walls, but for some reason the game doesn't let you paint that bit. So, screw the game, just try and use your imagination. But yeah, so we've got all of that over there. Surround sound, of course. We've got a little bit of plant life around as well. Little shoe cupboard. Little coat hanger. It looks pretty good. A few bits over there. Computer there. And then we've got our little games room here. Which is nice. It looks good. I'm pleased with it. I thought it turned out quite well that. And then if we come over here. We have got our kitchen. Which, you know. Standard black and white kitchen. Couldn't really pick out the colour that I wanted to do. So. Just sort of went for the basics. Put in quite a few extras. Food. And everything. I think I've done a good job in there. It's little. But it gets the job done. And then if we come through here. We've then got the dining room. Which is really nice. Lovely. I'm still kind of concerned about having them up there. Because I've obviously got them in the other room as well. But you, there's not really the choice available. For sort of ornaments and everything. But I like this room. This room works quite well. The chairs look a little bit dirty. But. They're the best chairs that matched. And then if we come out of there and go upstairs. All the way up. Then we have got our little reading area over here as well. I don't know why. I mean, no one's going to use it. But there you go. 
And then in here, we have got our master bedroom, which, you know, good colours, rug sort of match. In one of my previous videos, I said about a lamp as well, sort of gone there. Just imagine that there's one there that sort of matches the colour of the room. I couldn't find a decent one that was the right size. TV on the wall. And then we've got our ensuite here, which is nice. I mean, that's not a TV, by the way. I know it looks a lot like the TV over there. It's actually a mirror. Settings turned down. Looks like a TV. But it's a good bathroom. I'm kind of pleased with it. We've got our little balcony here. With some plants on it. Not really much else I could do with that. And then if we come out here and round here. We've got the second bedroom. Which, okay, I've turned it into a sort of boys room. But, you know, it doesn't have to be a boys room. I just associate blue with boys. Is that really so bad? But, you know, you could do it any colour you want. I like those colours together. I think it looks pretty good. And then we've got our ensuite here as well. Pretty much matching the other ensuite. But that's pretty good that both bedrooms have en suites. And then if we come out on here, we've got our two little sun lounges. If the balcony was a little bit longer, I would have had a table between them. But obviously not big enough. And then we've got a few plants there. I like it. And then if we come outside through any of the double doors, seeing as there's loads of them, we've got our garden. So we've got a little table there. For dining on when we have our nice little barbecues. Swimming pool. It does have water in just like the pond does. But can't see it. A few more sun lounges. We've got a nice little seating area. So you can have drinks of an evening with a fire pit. A few little water features in the background. Can't really see the water on it now. It looks more like mist. But they are water features. We've got a shed. Little doggy house. Food bowl. Oh yeah, bird feeder as well. Completely forgot about the bird feeder. It looks pretty good. But I think I've done a good job with the garden. I think out of the whole house, I've, the garden was probably the hardest bit to do. So I think I've done a really good job with it. I'm, I'm pleased with that. And then if we just come around here into the good old garage, you can see what I did in this episode. Well, what I said I was going to do in this episode. And there we have it. So before we go to the sauna... This is just the standard garage bit. We just got a little desk over here with a chair, a little drinks fridge, you know, a little escape area for whoever does the work around the house. We've got a shelving unit, shovel, ladder, which you can actually climb on this game. Didn't realise that, but you can. That's pretty cool. And then over here, we've got our nice sauna with a nice little changing area here, laundry baskets, so you can throw things in there, little hooks up there. If we walk inside, this is our sauna, where we can just chill out. Oh, that's not how you crouch. That's how you crouch. Probably best not to jump when you're trying to sit down. But yeah, pretty good. We've got some towels up there. We've got a little thermostat, little timer as well. I mean, it's nice. I like this room. The floor doesn't really match, but they don't really do a wood flooring to match the walls. I don't know why. They just don't. It's just stupid. But the sauna, I, I'm really pleased with the sauna. I wanted to put a sauna in from the first time I saw this house. I wanted to put a sauna in, so I'm glad I managed to get that done. But yeah, that's the house. It looks nice. I've done a good job. I think I've completed everything on it. So, now we have to go into selling it. So, to do that, first of all, we want to submit garden for contest. Now, the reason you want to do this is because adding all of that crap into the garden doesn't put the price up at all of the house unless you do a garden contest. Now, we've got loads of different choices here. American, crop, English, modern. I can tell you right now it's not a crop garden. I've only put in a few tomato plants. It's not crop. It's not really English either because it's not sort of old style. It's more modern. So I'm just going to have a quick read through and just see what it's, whether it's modern or American pretty much. So it's very often treated... As another room with comfortable furniture and elegant geometric forms. There are not too many plants there. Usually just some overgrown bushes and ornamental grass. Glass, metal, concrete, wood and gravel are all just right for this type of garden. Okay, so what about that one? American garden. It should be practical and easy to maintain. The front is the owner's showcase filled mainly with low profile evergreen plants 
The backyard serves as a place for relaxing. Do you know what? That one sounds like what I've done more than modern. So we're going to go for American. So participate. What score do we get? So, okay, plants didn't get us a big score. Equipment did and layout did. So that's increased my house price by 25%. So that's where you get your profit from in the houses when you're doing the gardens. Because otherwise it's just useless. If you don't enter a competition, you won't put the price up of the property at all. But we get an extra 25%. So I guess it's time to put it up for auction. Let's just have a look at the numbers. You bought this house for 141,000, well, 142,000 basically. The house parcel area, okay, don't need to worry about that. The house house doesn't matter. Room count, 11. Your current budget is 30, okay. You have been working in this house for 10 hours, 37 minutes. Now, that's not bad, so it's only taken me five episodes to do 10 hours. I've managed to cut it down quite nicely. But let's put it up for auction, see what we get. So, how much do we need for profit? We've spent a lot of money. Renovation cost, 25. Furniture bought, 29. Jesus Christ, we're not making a profit on this house. Oh, we are. 45,000 profit. That is a very low profit compared to other houses that I've done that I've not actually recorded or anything. That is a terrible profit. I've, I've had a house before with 90,000 profit. So it just shows the garden is probably not worth doing. So if you get one like this with a big garden, don't try and pack everything in like I have because it's not really working. Now, what we can do is negotiate. So they've said 187. So I'm thinking... Oh, I didn't check. Oh, there we go. It's up there. So, what? Try another 13, maybe? Because that'll take it up to 200. We could try. So, if we go to negotiate offer, we'll see what our response is. Your offer is too low. I can sell you the house for that much more. We don't have such money. Sorry. Crap. Okay, so we've basically got the choice of accepting it or refusing it. So I guess we're going to have to accept, but there you go. That's how much profit we made. Not the best amount, but I'm happy with it. So thank you for watching the series, guys. Like I said before, there will be a second series coming out. If you have a house in mind of what you want to see, let me know in the comments. If not, I'll just pick a random house, most likely the Breaking Bad one. And also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on the second series or my other awesome videos like Ancestors, The Humankind Odyssey and also Borderlands 3, which is coming out on Friday, which I'm very much looking forward to. So I will see you in the next one. Peace out.